Oh my god, I've been talking. I've been hitting the wrong button. And trying to talk. I'm such a dork. Okay. I... I've gone on a walk and I have no idea where I am. Yeah, you can just put your dub over me. You know. Pretend I'm saying things. Come on. Oh my goodness. I think my computer... <laughs> okay, this... Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, it's probably the connection from where I am right now. You, you see, the quality is not so great. Wow, this actually has pretty good effects. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for a walk at this time of night. So, I'm gonna say that luckily this game is not really like an actual horror game. Like, it's more of a walking simulator. So I'm thankful for that because I I kind of have wanting have been wanting to explore the back rooms, but I don't want to deal with the scary like jump scares. I hate I hate that. I mean I like it I like when other people do it and they react to it, but I hate I hate it myself. Are we, like, super low to the ground? We are, like, super low to the ground. That's kind of weird. Like, why is it... This is like Berber carpet. Like, super low, short carpet. That stuff takes forever to get out. Not gonna lie. A 
let me change my button for talking because apparently that's the button to crawl. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's creepy. This is... I need to change it one more time, because that's, that's running. Okay. This isn't this isn't anything, right? Right? Okay. Oh, that's actually kind of a cool effect. Kind of like an offset that you would see on the old VHS tapes. Okay, even though I know there's no monsters here, it's still hella fucking creepy. It's a chair. It's a nice place for me to sit and contemplate life and think about what I've done. Single chair. Oh god, this looks like a chair that everybody would have in their dining room. Alright, what are we going to find next? I want to see the other rooms. What the fuck? This is... We've just found like a gymnasium. An office room. Oh. What's the... That's... Okay, whatever. I'll go back. That... That's me being jump-scared by my own environment. And not the back rooms. <laughs> no! No! No jump-scares! I'm gonna be scared enough. I don't need more jump scares in my life. Dude, it does! It's like... When... It's like no one's ever deep clean the carpet and like who would ever choose this nasty yellow like oh 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 we're going into a mall oh Oh my god. This looks like an old mall. Valco! Uh... What- were there more than one Valco mall? Because I know it just got demolished. A 
Okay, here you go. Now this is like a hotel carpet. So I will say there is like one scary thing that pops up apparently but it's not like an actual enemy apparently uh God! Thank you for the follow. I'm- I'm- there's a pie stuck in my face. Don't. I'm- I- I am very- What is this? I am so freaked out. What is this right here? It, it, it was going good before I got stuck in the back rooms. How are you doing? All oh, this forced perspective is... Oh my god. I, I guess I have to go back that way. I hate this. Yeah, what's what what's it called? You know, I will I will actually admit I love watching people play horror horror games, but I am a scaredy cat. I'm actually really bad with scary games. I tried playing... What was it? Ob Observation Diary? And I gave up so quickly. Oh god. I think I have to go into the darkness. Yes, I have seen that movie. That was pr that was actually a pretty gory movie. If you could send me the title, because I, I wonder if I might have heard of it. Oh, I, I fucking hate this. <laughs> this is the worst. Oh, there we go. Okie dokie. It's a, it's a place. It's a dining room. It's another dining room. It's a shower. Okay, I hate, I hate this, this wibby wobbly sound.
What the fuck is that? Am I... Am I... This... I hope this is, like, a... <laughs> the hell is this? Whoa. Alright. So it's called War of the World. Why do I feel like... Did it just come... Did the trailer just come out for it? No! Okay, I'm thinking of Starship Troopers. Maybe I'll take a look. But like I said, I, uh, I I watch other people play scary games. Whoa! Okay, you can't go through the window. That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty atmospheric right there. Oh shit, it's a subway? That was super weird. I actually really appreciate that this is just a walking simulator. Because I would not be able to play this game otherwise. I was not expecting that. Oh, y'all, we found a pool. We found a pool. It's like an indoor sauna. But they won't let me in the water. I'm explicitly ignoring the dark spaces because I'm a scared. Huh. I wonder what that is. So one way it goes into the darkness and the other way there's like a square. I'm talking more than normal because I'm freaked out. What the f- Oh, that's beautiful!
for? Okay. I remember reading some things about the back rooms. And I think you're able to get to some random space by going through here. Now, will I regret my decision? Oh, that's cool. You know what? I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna not do that. If this scares me, I I am quitting this game. Okay. What's going on in life? I am eagerly waiting for some motion capture stuff to get in. I pre-ordered it like months ago and they say it's supposed to ship out sometime this month. So we'll see. And I'm also looking at something called the Mokopi that they're only selling in Japan. It's supposed to be pretty okay motion tracking. So we can get a little more than just the head movement. This place would look a lot nicer if it didn't have the whole, like, yellow... yellow tones. Maybe something like a little more Grecian or something like that. Kawaii... Oh, okay. Man, this place is just creepy as fuck. I imagine this is what going to your local gym when no one's around is like, and all the lights are off. It's like you're not supposed to be there, but you are. Oh god. Imagine slipping on the floor here. Oh, hello. It's empty. That's a hazard. Oh, it's another elevator. We're going to go to another level. hole. Okay, you know what this screams to me? This whole... Demons. This screams demons. This screams buffet. Cafeteria. This is where you go to your room. I'm I'm gonna head to her to the room. Yep. 
Yeah, they really went with the 90s effects. I do you hear that? I hear it. I hear like some kind of like a TV. Radio? What the fuck? Hello? Oh my god. I, if I just close my eyes and I go forward through the darkness. that sound coming from? What the fuck? What? There... Huh? What? Why? Oh my gosh, I just noticed that there's like the dirty lens. What the fuck is this? I fucking hate this. I really fucking hate this. the hell is this? <gasps> you know what? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go back. I'm- I'm- I'm a scare. Or maybe I should just keep going. I do not, I do not, 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 not. I do not like scary thing. I've... Ah! <laughs> Fucking shit! I'm getting out of here. I hate this place. I think next time I get stuck in a lim this kind of liminal space, I am going to just sit down and think about life. And use magic or something. And get the fuck out. What? What the fuck is this? Oh, I- I- No, no, I'm- I can handle I can handle this. I can I can handle this. It's it's not it's not as bad. You 
you know what? I think I'm done. I'm done with the back rooms. The back rooms... The back rooms are creeping me the fuck out. Let me let me load up a different game than this one. <laughs> How do you save progress in a game like that? Okay. Okay, give me a moment. Where's another game I can throw up here? Oh no, I had a bunch of demos and they are no longer available. Uh that happens. Okay, is there any other game? <laughs> yes, there is actually another game. I can keep playing Power Wash then for a little bit. Okay. We're going back to Midgar. So after taking a look at the VOD, I figured out that I really did spend about two hours on cleaning that last place. And I feel like I spent minimum 30 minutes trying to find that last thing that I couldn't find till the end. I really like going for things that I can immediately get a nice little ding for. There you go. Get myself some dopamine. There you go. I did something! I did it! Yay! Wait, which one is...
Hmm. What is still dirty on it? I need to get my mind out of horror movie simulator. Because now that I play the horror movie game, horror game, I'm just going to be on edge for the rest of the night. I don't know if that happens to anybody else too. You watch something or you take part in something and then you're just all freaked out. Everything is scary after that. <sighs> there you go. Give me that dopamine. Ha ha. So apparently, it's considered stalker behavior to try to collect facts about other people. Which, which I assume is not a good thing. I mean, who doesn't want to try to get facts about other people, right? Like, don't you want to learn about other people and their interests and their weaknesses and... Maybe use it to talk to them at a later date. You know, get to know people. I mean, that's the best way, right? Just kind of... Have this internal repository of things that you can just look up. But no. That's considered kind of stalker. No, no, no. I don't know why they're telling me so much information. I'm just here to clean up your bar. I'm here to clean up your mess. I do wonder how they, like how they're able to get the approvals for this. And I wonder if they're able to get like any other game like series for the same thing because it's kind of cool i saw there's like tomb raider some tomb raider levels and this just came out last week like what other treats are we gonna get This would grow so much mold. One thing I was kind of thinking about recently, as I come up on doing one year of VTubing, I noticed that a lot of the people that I kind of went live with at the same time are no longer VTubing and it makes me a little sad.
like for whatever reason life just gets gets in the way and they just stop for a whole variety of reasons. And it's sad. You know, I see some of the some of the people like blow up and get pretty big. I never got I haven't gotten pretty big. But then some people just all together they like they just stop. And then being one of the only ones left is just kind of like a weird feeling. Like, I know they also put a lot of work into their stuff and they also put a lot of money into their stuff. Like it's not, you can, you can VTube pretty easily without a lot of money, but you know, people, people like getting custom things, like custom emotes. C lots of scabs. I love scabs. Scabs are dangerous. Because then you're suddenly spending a couple hundred on the scabs and you're like, oh no! But also it's just kind of like the connections that you make at that time. It feels a little special. You know, you're trying to see, you're just starting out and you're trying to see you know, can you make it? Is it... Is it going to be feasible? Are you going to even enjoy streaming in the first place? And it's like, yes, maybe. Or no. Yeah. Especially my fellow fairy. My fellow fairy VTubers. It makes me sad when I see them just kind of drop off. And I think it's... Graduations are pretty sad. Like, you know, they they definitely put, like, an end date on it and all that. But I think it's the worst when they just silently fall off. Like, just over time. And actually, I did see this with Pikami. Over time, they just slowly start to stream less and less. And you see them interacting less on whatever social media you have with them. And you can tell, especially when they start to take those extended social media breaks too. You're kind of like, oh, okay, there's something going on. And... You, th they might just leave. That makes me really sad. And the sudden graduations make me really sad too. When it's, when it's not... When it's not someone being shitty. Like, I know some of the VTubers who graduate suddenly have been pretty shitty. And when I see the drama that they're involved in, I'm like, yep, yeah, okay. That's not really a loss. But the ones who just... Graduate out of nowhere is so sad. Like, especially recently, I had that where one of the people I literally collabed with for the first and only time, that's my only collab so far, was this stream with a bunch of fairies back in May, June, I think, or July last year. And one of the people decides to graduate recently after kind of being off offline for quite some time it just makes me sad it's kind of like you're losing it's weird it's like you're losing something i guess that's the parasocial part of it right it's like you're losing someone that you're used to having around and now they're gonna go do something else you're never gonna see them again kind of thing Especially if they decide to graduate and just never use their use their VTuber self, period. It's it's like losing a friend somewhat or losing like your favorite coworker at work. Like, it sucks. It's weird. Yeah, that's that's parasocial. Thinking about it, that is pretty fucking parasocial. But hard not to feel that way.
Actually, it is also weird when I'm just a little tiny VTuber and I see these big VTubers just kind of leaving before I do it. I'm like, oh. It would have been cool to be able to collab with some of you one day. That's just me being sentimental. I think it feels more important as I, as I age, the sentimentality of losing people. Sure, they're not dead, but hot damn. They almost might as well be. Should I be using a cleaning liquid for this? Okay, let's see if this, this works. Wait, should I be using this or should I be saving this for later? The okay, that seems to help. You know what? Maybe I won't use that. I won't use... Hmm. Okay, there you go. So the whole... If you don't keep up on Twitter drama just because... I do. I like be I like following drama that doesn't involve me. Just because it's so low stakes. I saw I saw the whole thing about artists taking money and never really communicating with their commissioners and just kind of like disappearing into the midst with with the people's money. And I'm like, I guess I don't know how that could ever be acceptable. Like, both as an artist who has maybe, unfortunately, maybe ghosted on a very low stakes thing before that did not involve real money. I feel for people because that's a really shitty thing to do. Like, like, yes, yes, you might be anxious about like, not finishing something, right? And it's okay to be anxious about it. I mean, I think people totally understand that. But to just not give people updates whatsoever. Like, let them know six months, year, I... That, hey, your stuff is being worked on. I know I've taken your money, but I'm still working on it. I haven't forgotten you. It's like the fuck. It's so disrespectful, honestly. I think that's why, at this point, I love Skev. Because Skev is just an automated system to get everything done. Like, if they don't get it done on time, then the money comes back. No harm, no foul. Like, the... Tifa, are you, like, watching me? Where are you? I don't like being watched. Creeper. I guess it's just crazy that I guess 
some artists are getting kind of pissed about it. Like, I get it. I get it. You need money to live, right? We all do. Well, most of us do. Some people are able to stay with family or they have like a very nice situation, that kind of thing, right? But the people who are paying for these commissions, you know, are expecting a product in return. You can't just leave them out there to dry and not keep them in the know. And that's so f disrespectful. Like, I guess the upside is that these commissions tend to be pretty small. Like, not very pricey. But, I mean, imagine if it was like a, a different kind of business, say a flooring business, furniture business. You know, that kind of happened during COVID. Especially during the beginning of it. Where people don't have the exact furniture you want because there's something wrong with the with the what's it called supply chain supply chain issues you know that that nice term i mean at that point you're probably going to be out of a few grand and you can take them to small claims court but it's kind of like a good thing and a bad thing that the commissions tend to be on the smaller side because at least well i mean if you well thinking about it if you if you were really hurting for money i would really hope that you would not request commissions right like you have to focus on making sure your your life is figured out first but, I mean, at least it won't be that much that you would probably want to sue them over. Yeah, that's kind of a weird thing to really think about, isn't it? But again, it's still really shitty. No matter how much you put in, you still went under a basic contract of money for services, goods and services. We do not like people who do not. Honor their agreements. I mean, unless they give the money back, then that's totally different. I heard sometimes trying to get money back is like pulling teeth. And who likes pulling teeth? This one is so much more enjoyable to do than the other one. The fucking scorpion. That still makes me so irritated. Like, I can't... Like, I knew, realistically, it was going to be in a certain area of the thing. Of the fucking robot. But I kept going it over and over again. And I was like, okay, maybe it's in a different spot because, oh my god, I can't find it. It was driving me up the wall. It was absolutely evil. Absolutely. I think we're almost done. 87%? It's looking pretty good.
We're so close. We're so close. A feeling that I'm gonna need that ladder in a bit. I wonder what the ceiling is made of. Because again, I imagine that this would just be full of mold. Okay, I know I'm so close, but I think I'm gonna stop there. It's almost done though. Because I'm at an hour. An hour more than I expected to stream on a Wednesday, honestly, since I haven't done it for a while. Alright, I'm gonna sign off. Have a good evening, folks. Have a great Wednesday and Thursday and whatever day. And I'll hopefully see you all on Saturday. Goodbye, y'all. Actually, let me see if I got someone we can raid. Uh, no, God, I need to find some people to raid at this time. All right, bye, everybody.